which table best represents an exponential relationship. Now an exponential relationship is where y values increased or doubled by the same number. Let's try choice 4 as an example. As you can see here that the y value went from 1 to 8, which would lead this by a multiplication of 8. When we multiply 8 by 1, it would give us 8. Now let's try to multiply 8 by 8. If we multiplied 8 times 8, it would give us 64, which is not equals to 27. So this choice is incorrect because 8 is not the multiplication number of the y values. Let's try choice 1. Let's try to move from the bottom to the top. Here we have a half. It went from a half to 1, which is multiplied by 2. Now 2 times 1 is equals to 2. 2 times 2 is equals to 4. 2 times 4 is equals to 8. Now as you can see that there is a flow in these numbers, they are all multiplying by 2, and they are all correct. So the answer choice is 1. 1 has an exponential relationship. So the graph of y equals f of x is shown below. At first, choose the simplest point, which is 2 and 10. x equals 2, y equals which expression defines f of x? Now you will have to replace x with 2 for each option. Option 1, 2 times 2 equals 4. Option 1 is incorrect. Option 2, 5 times 2 to the power of 2 equals 20. Option 2 is incorrect. Option 3, 5 times 2 to the power of 2 over 2 equals 10. Option 3 is correct because the best expression that defines f of x is 10. Thank you. Which statement is true about the graph of f of x equals practice 1 over 8 to the power of x? 1. The graph is always increasing. 2. The graph is always decreasing. 3. The graph passes through 1, 0. 4. The graph has an asymptote at x equals 0. Exponential functions. The equation for exponential functions is y equals a brackets b to the power of x. a is the initial value of the function. b is the ratio of the function. Exponential functions can be solved by the plug-in method. There are two types of exponential graphs. They are exponential growth and exponential decay. Answer choice 1. The graph is always increasing. Exponential growth occurs when the ratio of the function is a whole number, size 2 or 3. Therefore, the graph of f of x is not increasing. Answer choice 2. The graph is always decreasing. Exponential decay occurs when the ratio of the function is not a whole number, such as 2 over 3 or 1 over 4. Therefore, the graph of f of x is always decreasing because the ratio is a fraction, 1 over 8. Answer choice 3. The graph passes through 1, 0. 1, 0. x is 1, y is 0. When you plug in 1 in the equation, we do not get 0 we get 1 over 8. Therefore, this answer choice is incorrect. Answer choice 4. The graph has asymptote at x equals 0. Asymptote at x equals 0 exists when the function is undefined. The function is undefined when the calculator can answer the question by matching math error. This answer choice is incorrect because the function is defined. The correct answer choice is 2. Thank you for listening. Uh, they ask us in this question, which negative real number is not in the domain of 3 over x squared minus 4? First of all, you need to know that the domain is all real number that make this function equal to 0. So, to find the answer, you need to factorize this one. So, x squared minus 4 and when you factorize it, you will get x minus 2x plus 2. Then you will solve. So x minus 2 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. 
so when you solve you will get x equals 2 x equals negative 2 okay then you will go back to the question where they ask you which negative number so which one of these is the negative this one so x equals negative 2 will be your final answer in the exam hello everyone today we're gonna answer one question about functions the question says which graph represents a polynomial function that contains x power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 as a factor first thing first we're gonna factor the givens which is x power of 2 plus 2x plus 1 which then we get x plus 1 power of 2 as you can see that the function has two zeros the same x equal minus 1 and x equal minus 1 that means x equal minus 1 is a repeated 0 so the graph at x equal minus 1 will touch x-axis and will not cross the x-axis choice 2 and choice 3 and choice 4 all across the x-axis except choice 1 which doesn't cross the axis which is our answer hope you understand thank you A sketch of R of x is shown below. The graph touches the x-axis, as shown here, and bounces off on the x-axis at x equals negative c. x equals negative c is the function that has a repeated zero. Repeated zero. In other words, the function has two zeros, the same x equals negative c and x equals negative c so when we write the function in factored form we can find that the functions has x plus c squared now an equation for r of x could be option one is incorrect because it's x plus c option two is also incorrect because it's x minus minus c squared option 3 is incorrect as well because it's x minus c option 4 is correct because it's x plus c squared if f of x equals to square root of 29 minus x to the power of 2 find f minus 2 step 1 we replace all of the x's with negative 2 so it will be f minus 2 equals to the square root of 29 minus minus 2 to the power of 2 and then that will be equals to 29 minus 4 because the minuses will cancel each other and 2 to the power of 2 is equals to 4 29 minus 4 is equals to 25 the square root of 25 is 5 our final answer is 5. If f of x equals 3x minus 4 and g of x equals x squared, find the value of f of 3 minus g of 2. f of x equals 3x minus 4 and f of 3 equals 3 times 3 minus 4. equals 3 times 3 9 minus 4 equals 5 and here we have g of x equals x squared and g of 2 equals 2 squared Finally, we have f of 3 minus g of 2. So we have here 5, we have here 4, we're going to minus both. 5 minus 4 
equals one, and this is the final answer. This is the final answer. Thank you for watching. If f of x is equal to x squared, what is the value of f of 2i? We have four options. The first one is negative 2, the second one is 2, the third one is negative 4, and the fourth one is 4. So the first step is going to be writing f of x is equal to x squared. f of 2i is equal to 2i squared is equal to 2 squared times i squared using the distributive property now 4 times negative 1 is equal to negative 4 because 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2 which is 4 and i squared is equal to negative 1 so the final answer is i squared is equal to negative 1. Now we have to select the options. So the answer is option number 3, negative 4. If f of x is equal to x squared, what is the value of f of i cubed option one one option two negative one option three i option four negative i so now the first step is going to be writing f of x is equal to x squared f of i cubed is equal to i cubed squared where you have to switch the power now you have i squared cubed now it becomes negative one in bracket cubed which is equal to negative 1 multiplied by itself three times which is negative 1 and i squared is equal to negative 1 so the final answer is option number 2 negative 1